Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare Tisana Barrica, an ancient Roman soup with vegetables, legumes and barley from the Recuquinaria. We start with the ingredients. We need some greens, turnip greens, chard, leeks and mallow. Then the legumes, chickpeas, peas and lentils. And then barley, garum, olive oil and the spices. Fennel seeds, lovage and asafetida, and the aromatic herbs, fennel, oregano, dill and cilantro. These are all the ingredients listed in the original recipe. But to obtain an excellent soup, there is no need to have all of them. You can just choose one legume and the greens you have at your disposal. Barley is essential since this tisana is based on asked barley. First, we steep in water the legumes overnight. We followed the author's suggestion, but many varieties of peas and lentils don't need to be steeped in water. We start cooking barley and chickpeas together for about 50 minutes. The cooking times for this recipe may change considerably, depending on the legumes and barley you use. We need to overcook the barley until it almost breaks down. Meanwhile, we miss the greens and the aromatic herbs, except for oregano, and we keep aside part of the turnip greens. Tisana is a Greek medicinal remedy, very popular not only in the antiquity, but also beyond the end of the Middle Ages. The recipe we are preparing today is a high-end variant that keeps just the name, but not the substance of the medicinal version. It's however interesting to know the medicinal tisana to better understand this preparation. According to the descriptions provided by the ancient authors, in particular Galen in his De Facultatibus Alimentorum, Ptisan or Tisana is made with a cereal, usually barley, but also rice, wheat or spelt, asked by hand and overcooked until it swells completely and dissolves. Then it must be sifted to collect the juice. Galen suggests adding salt, dill or leek, vinegar and oil. In Galen's book, there is also a version with barley and lentils, which recalls a bit the recipe we are preparing today. According to Galen, the cooks make ptisan in the wrong way. First of all, they pound the cereals in the mortar, instead of dissolving them with a very long cooking. Then they add starch to counterfeit the consistency that an actual ptisan should have. In addition, they add reduced grape juice, cumin and sometimes honey, all additives that ruin the ptisan, making it completely useless. We add a good amount of olive oil, the peas, lentils, aromatic herbs and greens and cook for another 40 minutes. The author of the Recuquinaria, referring to barley, uses a verb that can mean both to ask and to pound, but probably it refers to asking the barley before cooking it. He writes nothing about sifting the barley and legumes, a passage that probably would be described in the text, since in this case the recipe is quite detailed. We have many choices about how to prepare this plate. For instance, we can coarsely pound the barley, sift all the cooked ingredients before adding the spices and garum, or overcook the barley and legumes for many hours until they dissolve. Meanwhile, we grind in the mortar fennel seeds, lovage and oregano, grate a little safetida and mix with garum. 
A safetida is equivalent to the cheaper variety of silphium used in the antiquity, called uh, silphium particum. One of the most used spices in the ancient Mediterranean cuisine. For more information about Garum, check out the video linked in the description below. If you want to know more about Tisana in the Antiquity and Middle Ages, check out our Patreon page, in which you find once a week a new article and once a month the translation of a historical source. This month we published the first two books of the Reco Quinaria. A description of the properties of Tisana is also available in an 11th century dietetic book, The Flore di Tarum, available on Patreon. In addition, you find on Amazon our new book, Ancient Roman Cooking, published in English and Italian. If you want to help us making new videos, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. Then we add the sauce to the tisana and cook until the legumes and barley almost break down. It's interesting to notice that the method to prepare medicinal tisana is quite similar to the one used to make a cucurn, another essential medicinal remedy in ancient Greece. With a substantial difference, to make a cucurn, we have to use all barley grains coarsely crushed, called alfita in the texts, not asked grains. To know more about Kukeon, watch our video listed in the description below. Then we briefly boil some turnip greens. In Latin, the vegetable used is called caulicoli molles, which means tender or sweet stalks, and refers to a plant belonging to the same family of cabbage. It is not easy to identify them precisely with a modern variety. However, we suggest using the kind of brassicace you have at your disposal, with tender stalks and a flavor not excessively pungent. We serve the tisana barrica with the minced turnip greens on top. Despite the main ingredients, the outcome is a soup with a simple flavor, very similar to some traditional dishes with legumes that we still prefer in Italy. The spices and aromatic herbs give complexity to the soup, enhanced in particular by the greens sprinkled on top. It is essential to add enough garum to prevent the sauce from becoming bland, since there are a lot of vegetables. We suggest pairing this tisana with a good main dish, such as ofella, roast chicken, or a beef or pork stew. You find the links to the videos in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.